we podcasting? Oh, we yes, are. Yes, you yeah. are. You are. Second. Hey, everybody. Howdy. Howdy. You're tuning into the Knitting Place podcast, and you are probably not recognizing oh, our no background. There's no yarn behind us. <laughs> no wall. We are actually taping here from Cleveland, Ohio. We are just finishing up at TNNA. We are in the Hilton Hotel. Correct. At the Downtown Convention Center. And we just wanted to say a few things. All right. Just before we head off to the airport. Yes. So, how was the show, Dinah? The show was amazing, actually. Oh, we had a great time. We had a great show. Uh, we had a great time. I feel like I'm leaning in. Well, the table <laughs> that we're at is not a straight edge table, so we're yeah. kind of on a curve. Right. And we're not really sure about our positions, actually. Right. <laughs> Usually I'm in your chair. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we're reversed this time. Right. This so, is my good side and my bad side. I don't know. I feel like the screen is changing color, so if there's a lighting issue, we apologize in advance. Mm. Okay, so uh, why do you feel it was such a great show? I don't know. We were just talking about that. You know, um, I think people were a little concerned that there weren't as many people. There would be fewer people here. But right. we found... It was a considerably smaller show. Right. But we found that we just made a lot of connections with various people, attendees, and even the people that were that were there was um, a lot of bonding time right there was a lot more time to connect there was a lot more face time talking time sharing yes. time which was nice which was really nice so we kind of strengthened any relationship that we had right and if we were opening up a new account we certainly had more time to spend Correct. with that account and we also interestingly we just met you know sometimes i can't remember the instances now but sometimes things kind of go full circle yeah, one thing happened, and then something else happens, and it brings you back to the first thing through various people. And we just found that that was, um, that's what happened this weekend several of, times, yeah, right? It kind of was like the flavor for the weekend. Correct, correct. You so know, and you know, it's nice to get out of your, you know, day to day, you're in a certain sphere. Same people, same things, and this was different because it took us outside of that. Right, outside of the realm. Correct. And then you can kind of, correct. which was fun open your horizons and you see things in a different light and it kind of brings you to different people Correct. and you're more receptive to different ideas right? and different unless I'm saying correct that's what I usually say <laughs> uh, it's anyway an anything. it's an anything what are you wearing Pam? I know look we're twinning we're look twinning she's got <laughs> she's wearing the Duchesne as is Dinah yes. Dinah's second Duchesne yes we have the Duchesne well you can hardly see mine because it's black we could take, take these, these badges off. off. Yeah. We're not the show. They're done. They're done. <laughs> but anyway, mine is in, we both used Lena from yeah. Lang. And um, Dinah has a lace panel in the front and the back. Yes. And mine is just a stockinette back. Yes. We I guess you can't see. really can't get up right. Maybe well, you'll maybe take, just turn. take a picture. Let's just turn. Mine has so, a stockinette back. I don't know if you could see, but I still have my lace panel. Yep. And Pam went with the traditional stockinette. However, you did do a modification, Pam. I did because many people would come, were, that some people were saying when they were making it, and I saw it also on Ravelry that the back was shorter than the front. And I suppose the front is longer because you've got the lace panel in the front and it yes, has a it curve dips. at the bottom. It dips. It dips in this formation. Correct. And if you do a stockinette back, that's not going to happen. You're not going to have the same row gauge. So it would hike up on people, it would be a little bit shorter. So what I did was I added some short lists to the back. I have a question for you. Yes. Did you write down your short lists? I remember what I did. You better write it down because that should, she's <laughs> going to have that on her Ravelry page. Maybe I'll make a modification be, on the Ravelry yes, page. Yes, right? post it so that right. people, if you're interested in avoiding... I mean, the instructions do call for a stock in that back. I just personally like the lace front and back. Right. Pam does not, and right. that's fine. But she also opted to do the scoop on. Yeah, I didn't so want the are, back to be shorter. Right, right. And so that's why I did that. it's a great compromise. Right, yeah, of course. Yeah, it, it worked out well. Yeah. It worked out well. So we can certainly share that with you. But so, so we, excited that our it's goal done. was to finish this. So if you see our Insta stories, yes, at today, least I put on my, well, we, we were blocking. I didn't, put, we did Insta story last night. Didn't you put it on yours, I think? Or Instagram. I don't remember. We were sewing last night. Yes. And then a party. last night, this morning, and we were blocking this morning. Right? Yes. Right. So we were. So you might see some coverage actually before you see this. Correct. Correct. We'll so it was it a fun week. And it's always fun when you come to these shows to see what people are wearing. Oh, yeah. Everyone yeah. was wearing 
Well, there were a lot of great things, but this was very popular at the show, the Renaculous. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> the Renaculous was Did you notice too. any Renaculous? Yeah, the one I was talking to, the woman, who was I talking to, one of the last orders today, she was wearing one. The woman, maybe it was the woman at... Um, Could be. I was she was you. wearing. But the thing with all of these, the one thing you notice is that everyone uses different yarns, and it's totally fine. You right. know, some use fingering with mohair, some just right. use. That's the beauty. The one I'm doing is very lacy. It's it's a fingering weight yarn by itself. You know, I did so a, a worsted weight version, and correct. I'm actually thinking of doing a heavier weight version for the right. fall because I'd like to put the pretty right. sleeves on. Right. So I can't believe I'm knitting a second one of that too. Well, kind of but it's a fun it's a fun piece. It, it really is a fun piece. It's not difficult to make. I mean the big top is is I don't want to say it's challenging, but every row is almost different. So Right. You Actually know, you have yours here, why don't you I show do. it? I do. It doesn't look like much though, but I'm almost done with the top. Again, I haven't been doing much work on it because oh, the lighting is good here. It is good. You got the daylight coming in from yeah. outside. But you can't see it really. Let me try to open it like You can. You have the eyelids down, down below. You've got the. Are right. these like a Passover? I don't remember. If she does it. She just pushes it. You go between. You pull it up and put it over. I don't it's know really she fun. That, but something different. And uh, yeah. hopefully by tomorrow. Well, I don't know. I don't make promises. I just want to get to the underarm. She wants to get past the yoke section. We have knitting to do, guys. We have knitting to do. Lots right? of knitting. So what knitting are we going to be doing? Oh Let's my talk gosh. about that. We well, the have... two upcoming things. Well, the two upcoming things we could start with for knit alongs, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we definitely want to put out there that the Foxtrot knit along is starting, and Pam and I have acquired or committed to our colorways, and we're hoping that you'll be joining us. Why don't you show yours? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at that color, guys. Sneak peek. Nice color. Hold on a second. Let me just get this so you can see it nicely. Is that good? Is that it's a good beautiful. Color? It really looks pretty. Like the glaze pecan. It does look it's like not. The this is a worsted weight yarn that you're going Diane. to need. Mine is also a little bit of a speckled yarn. Uh, go a little closer with the speckle. Can you see? It's, it's very it subtle. Yeah, look at that. It looks great, right. though. And so for those of you that, that don't know, the Foxtrot is supposedly a four-day knit. Right. But, but it doesn't mean you need to knit it in four days. Explain the 96 hours. So it's meant to be knit in 96 hours. So if you were to take one day, let's say day one, you only clocked in an hour of knitting. That's one hour. That's not day one. Right. So right, right. It, there's a different kind of spin on it, which right. is it's, really it's, fun. It started, maybe this is the third one. It started two years ago. Mm -hmm. I think it it's was Marie, Marie Green. Green had... She had a period of days around the 4th of July where she had f free time. And she thought to herself, can I need a sweater in four days? And she said, I don't think so. But anyway, she tried and, and she did. That first pattern was called the Stillwater. Right. Second pattern is the Beekeeper. She did last year the Beekeeper, which you probably have heard of. It was very popular. Very popular. Very popular. Done in a DK weight yarn. And again, you know, if people, I, I was aware of the Beekeeper last yes. year. I mean, it wasn't, people weren't doing it for days. kind of missed the boat on it, but yeah. it's one I in my queue. I want to make that. Yes, yeah. it's one in my queue. I want to make that. And this year's pattern is called the Fox Tribe. Yeah. And uh, it, you can go on Ravelry to Marie Green's page. You can see what it looks like. It's not a mystery. You can sign up for the knit along. I think right. the pattern will appear in your Ravelry box. Is it June 27th? June 27th. And I meant to look this up. I don't remember what date she's actually starting knitting. It, if it's, um, I like, thought it was July 1st. Um, Maybe it's July 4th. I, I don't, don't remember. Know. I don't know. But, okay. but you can look. If you go on there now, you can order we will the pattern. Put the date. We will. We'll, put we'll that insert in. the I'll date. look it up after. Okay. You, you can you can go on Ravelry now, purchase the pattern. You'll get all the specifics that you need to make your yarn choice. And the first, uh, the, what was the, you'd actually get the pattern on the 27th. That's what it is. Right. It's and not one of these patterns that comes in stages. You just no, get I think you pattern. get the full download. The full download. Right. The full download. Right. So we are excited. It's uh, We should say it's a worsted weight. Okay. Worst to wait yarn. So you know, like this, like this. You may do it in four days on a worst wait. So that's going to be exciting. And then, as a matter of fact, just to cover on a little thing, um, I did see uh, part of Danny's uh, Gemma Darling's podcast, and she was talking about the 
Unity Cal for Rhinebeck, and they were doing cardigans this year. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So mm -hmm. if you are thinking about getting something started in your queue, I know there's a distraction over here. I keep looking off the screen <laughs> at the TV TVs. <laughs> um, so you could kind of piggyback. You could start with the Foxtrot cardigan. This could be a Rhinebeck sweater. It's a cardigan. It could be a sweater, right. Yeah. Really nice mm -hmm. weight. Um, so something to think about. Food yeah. for thought as you're looking for things to put in your queue. But again, it's a it's a quick knit. It's a quick. We even knit. met someone this weekend who was knitting on it. Now she was the shop owner. Yes, lovely lady. Uh, actually, it's her daughter who's the shop owner. Right. Excuse me. Uh, her name was Jean, and her daughter is Kate. It's Kate. Kate. I think it's Kate. And they have a shop called Harriet and Alice, which was really sweet. I thought it was a cute name. Yeah. Uh, is it in Michigan? Minnesota. 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 Sorry. We met so many people. Yeah. So she actually happened to be, uh, she sent an email out to Marie Green, and she was able to get the actual pattern ahead of time because she wanted to participate. Correct. Something I now learned that I can do for the future. <laughs> Next time. Next time. But we did see it actually worked up uh, in person, mm -hmm. and it was really nice really nice so and we're again, super excited it's a worsted weight knit along so it should go fairly it should quickly. go fairly quickly yep. yeah we're excited about that so that's one thing that you can do that might cover two knit along so come in pick out yarn if we inspired you go into your stash or go into your local yarn sure. shop get enough yardage get the pattern and join along with us it's Absolutely. Be fun. we're excited yeah okay speaking right. of knit alongs take it away <laughs> <laughs> There's another knit along in July uh, from Casapinka. Yes. It's a Casapinka, uh, what's it called then? The, the perfect blend. The perfect blend. The perfect yes. blend. And that pattern is dropping on July 8th. And she is, the purpose of the knit along, it's summertime, a fun time to do this. It's a, a shawl. Um, the shape is um, boomerang. Was it boomerang? No, or it's no, it's uh, I, boomerang. I, I can't think of what it is. It might be boomerang, but any, well, anyway, we'll get back to you on that one. On the screen. But um, it uses mini skeins, 12 mini skeins, yeah. So, we which is fun, mm -hmm. color changing skeins, yes. So, we picked up an indie dyer, cute little girl, her name is Emma, and she's based out of Florida. She's a 17 year old girl who is dyeing her own yarns. She's super adorable. And so she, cute. Her and her sister run the company, and her parents actually have a yarn shop in Florida. So we opened up an account, and she's got these 12 blended colors. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll insert four colorway pictures. So if you're interested in joining along, you can certainly call up. I urge you to call right. up right away to place your order. Right. And there are four different color sets. Right. So you don't have to say, well, what yarn am I using? It's right there. Right. It's right there. So if you, I, this might be a little bit putting it out there, but if you do, or if you are interested, and you download the pattern, I believe the first clue of the set is actually uh, the schematic of the shawl. And I believe Casa Panca actually uh, almost did like a black and white sketch of the shawl where you can actually pencil in your colorways so you could see which color appeals to you. So because we are putting the color choices on the screen, you might be able to pause and maybe kind of color but in. But I, I think, though, I would just use it the way she does it, the way they dyed it. That, that's fine. But mm. what I'm suggesting is if one colorway doesn't appeal to you and another well, colorway choose does, the colorway you can that lay you want, in your right. colors. Exactly. Yeah. And, of course, you could just see the color story. You can certainly put them out of order if you'd like or any way you want to get creative with it. But we do have four different colorways, and we urge you to join in. It's going to be fun. That's correct. And the way she is running it is on July 8th, which is a Monday, the first clue will drop. There are going to be six six weeks, six clues. And she says it's a, a, a advanced beginner, maybe. You have to know how to yarn over, knit two together, make one, a slip a stitch. And that's going to be fun. She said it's she she says it's Netflix knitting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> can't so be hard if you can watch too Netflix hard. while you're doing it. So we're excited about that. You know, yes. the nice thing about that is you have twelve different colors. So you're you're always you really you know yeah, you like to change color and see what's coming next. So we're excited about that. That's a fun summer knit along. Do you want to explain the knit along? 
uh, I mean, we're going to put all the information on Instagram and social media, right. but uh, the name, The Perfect Blend. The Perfect Blend. And she's also, it's, it's to bring the knitting community together, right. which I thought was really Which lovely. is fun. And she's also, it's called The Perfect Blend. With each clue, you get a tea suggestion or recipe. And so she, her vision is that while you're sitting knitting your clue, you can be sipping on tea or a beverage of your choice. <laughs> now I'm thinking we might just have to have like a sip and knit. A sip and, and knit. we can sip tea and knit in the shop. That sounds fun. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm, I'm doing. I'll, I'm game for game? it. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. You know, I, you know, to me it's nice when a, a dyer puts the kit together and colors that they feel work. It takes the work out of it for me. You know, the biggest problem people sit, what color should I put? Right. What color should I do? It? The what element I do? of surprise, not knowing. It's kind of it's there, just you're able to pick up the skein, start knitting, and you have the color change going along. And again, it's not a hard knit. No. It's not a hard knit. Come on, guys, you can do it. All right. So that's knit along number two. That's a July knit along. Yes. Yeah. So we're excited about that. Those are two fun things. And I'm actually knitting on a sample here. This oh, was sure. something else oh, yeah. like that. that we picked up. Yeah. Uh, Blue Sky has introduced, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but I'm going to go closer up so that we don't get this. There you go. That oh, that's perfect. That's, yeah. Better, yeah. that's fabulous. Yeah. So this is like a speckled cotton, and this is in the golden colorway, and they've got how many colors was it? I think there has to be about six colors. It's yeah. about six yeah. or seven colorways, and they're actually the same weight as the Blue Sky Organic Cotton that they have in the solid palettes. Yep. And they coordinate beautifully together. Yes, so yes. we're excited. It's some nice things knitting it. So Diana's got a one skein, well, probably. I think one skein could make two baby hats. So I actually cast on and put it on my needle. I think she said it depends how big you make a pom-pom or if you make a pom-pom. Right. Maybe I'll do a corkscrew squiggle. You could do one with one without me. There you go. Options. We could put one with a fur pom-pom. So that's, pom -pom. A, that's a sneak peek of one thing of we one saw. thing that's new. Of course, we don't have a sample of everything. Oh, no. no. Uh, we have to we leave some say, things yeah. for surprise. Absolutely. <laughs> now, you spoke about your whip. I yes. lied, and I said I wasn't going to cast anything on, but I did. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Are you surprised? No. So I just want to share with you what I've been busy doing in addition to my other knits. I cast on for the Soldatna from Boyland it works. Let me just see here, I'm trying to get my bearings on my sweater. Yeah, that's good. So the short rows are in the back. So this is kind of it. I'm doing it in oh, Madeline sorry. Tosh. Oh, thanks, Pam. Madeline Tosh DK. Oh, that's good. I've got Dirty Panther up here on the top. I think this one is called Night Bloom. It's like a purplish yeah. colorway, mm -hmm. glazed pecan. And you know, my uniform color smokestack. <laughs> can't knit a project without smokestacks. So, so the, body, the bottom body is going to be what color then? It's actually going to be the night bloom, nice. and the flecks that go with it are the glazed pecan stacked on smokestack. Nice. So you'll have the golden, like grayish, the grayish flat color on the back. On the right, right, on the purpley color. Yeah, right. That's pretty. So, can you picture it? I certainly. You're going to be knitting on that while you're away, aren't yes, you? Yes, probably. Yeah. And the fox trap. And the fox trap. So you won't be seeing us for a bit, right? Probably guess, not. Yeah. Probably not. Dinah's leaving later this week, and you've got 4th of July next week. So certainly nothing is going to be happening until after the 4th. Correct. Now I said it. So hopefully we've inspired you. I feel like we're reporting here from TNNA. <laughs> Live from TNA. Yes, exactly. Reporting. I know we're watching the clock because we have a flight to catch. Yes, we do. So we're not we're, trying to rush, but yeah. we're kind of rushing. Yeah. Is there anything else we want to talk about? Anything else? Stay tuned. I mean, we really do have a lot of exciting new things. Yeah. We have some returning things coming in in new colors, which is always fun. We picked up a textured yarn, lots of texture. Oh, yeah, oh, that's exciting. Yes, yeah. we had done an Insta Live, and I think it was Stacy. Yes. Stacy had asked, what's on trend? So there are two things I would say that are on trend. Fringe and embroidering on knits mm -hmm. is definitely on trend. Right. So if you're into embroidery, yep. you can hand stitch and people are 
actually even machine stitching. Mm -hmm. But I'd be careful with that because you'd have to have the right machine and the yep. right technique. Yeah. Uh, what else would you say? Color work is still big. Color work is still big. I right. think a the, lot of French. A little uh, thicker yarn, maybe. I mean, fingering is always popular, but DK continues. Yes, yeah, the emphasis wasn't on fingering weight. It wasn't on fingering. Although it's, no. you know, it's there. It's always it's popular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you say there were a lot of toothy yarns? Yes, a lot of toothy yarns. I think there are a lot of toothy yarns. Yeah. More, more, well, more than we've ever seen at DK, yep. I would say. You know. We Listen, didn't get any. Well, I think you did. Well, did we get any? Didn't you? No. Who's that last person you were? Which last person? The last guy. I didn't get it. I got the textured yarn. You didn't get the uh, other one? I'm going to have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me homework. Know. He was very funny. He gave me a reeling. I will give you a clue. It's a textured yarn. And he said, why don't you go and swatch it? And what I want you to do. Oh, so I swatched it. And he gave me two yarns to swatch it with. So I knitted up. I went back on Saturday. I said, here's my swatch. He said, now go back and unravel it. So I thought that was interesting because he wanted to make sure that I was happy with the way it unraveled in case we made mistakes with it because yep. it is textured. Yep. And here's your clue. It doesn't snag while you unravel. How, that's going to give him a clue? Just an interesting fact. Or that, maybe not. And that, that yarn... It's lovely, and I, there was some, there was really some nice beautiful support. Yes. But that would be more like mm -hmm. September. Yeah. It's not going to be like immediate. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting but things. A lot of different things. A lot of different things. Yeah. Um, but you never know. A toothy may be down the road. Yes, we did swatch toothy. It's not definitely not not on the cards. Not on. What do you mean not in meaning, the cards? It's not not in the cards. Oh, it's not, negative, not in the cards, which means it's a possibility. Could be, yeah, it's a possibility. Right. So we're exploring, definitely exploring. I feel like our clients. I feel like our clients are definitely tactile, and they want to feel it and make sure that they won't be bothered by the way something feels. Don't mm -hmm. you agree? Well, you know, I feel about that. What? That you're not really wearing. Like it's not touching your skin all Listen, the time. Listen, not I'm everything is for everybody. So uh, there are some people that like that yarn. There may not be as many people, but there are some people that do like it. Leave a comment. <laughs> do you like toothy yarns? <laughs> but again, even within really, toothy yarns, I will say there there, there is, is a, a big right, difference. You know, is, and even if you absolutely. did do a toothy yarn, it wouldn't be like a. Um, you know, the ones that are really rough, 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 rough. True. You know. Right. It all depends. Right. Maybe that's not leave a good comment. Don't yeah. leave a comment. Whatever. <laughs> we're going to do what we're going to do. We but. do have, at home though, there's the new pattern that came out from um, Andre Mallet. Yes. The, ca the, what's it called, Montana? The Montana Cowl. And uses uh, dyed in the wool. Dyed in the wool. We have lots of colors of dyed in the wool. You can go check Dream them out, State too. out on the website. Shannon, uh, Silver Shannon, Shannon Cook. Yes. She just came out with a beautiful shawl called Courage. And we're going to have the yarn for that. I know that we have a spin cycle delivery waiting for us to be unboxed in the shop. So if you guys To are add to what we already have. Yes. So yes. if you are looking for specific colors, check out our inventory yep. if you'd like if you want to jump on board and do something like that that a is a quick knit yeah color change always fun i'm excited about the shannon cook courage shawl that's interesting yes. I, you know i usually like her things that's going to be fun and what else could we share with you anything else we love meeting all the people i just a few special shout outs donna from black mountain yes we got all yeah. of us together for dinner friday night mm -hmm. that was absolutely that was fun super fun I wish I could remember everybody's names, but we met beautiful, lovely ladies. Um, some some were shop owners, some weren't. Right. But it was a really nice blend. There was definitely a person of interest in our company. <laughs> Donna, you know who she is. <laughs> She's a star. Um, anyway, what else can I say? We had beautiful FaceTime with a couple of shops right here in Ohio. A few shout outs to Brenda and Robin. We had some cocktails with you on Friday night. Or that was Thursday night yeah, actually. Thursday, that before was before you I was here, yeah. Yeah. Debbie from uh, Richmond, Virginia, Dances with Wool. That was a lot of fun. I liked spending some time and talking to you. 
We had a beautiful dinner with Jesse and Amy. Oh, yeah, from the that collage. Was yeah, collage. That was fun. We had a fun time. Super fun time. And we were so lovely. Very blessed. The weather was beautiful. Yes, Absolutely great weather. Beautiful. Yeah, we saw we fireworks. Really yeah. <laughs> At the stadium. Which a room is right with the view. The we had a great view. Yeah. Great view. Border view. What else could we say? But we weren't able to get iced coffee, if you can believe that. Oh, God. I mean, we're dying for a nice coffee. The right place, now. Starbucks <laughs> closed yesterday on a Saturday at noontime. Can you believe that? And Crazy. we went today. They said, oh, they're open until 3 o'clock today. We went there at 2 o'clock. Were they open? No. No. No iced coffee. So we're no. like running on empty here. When you're not in New York, you know, where there's a Dunkin' or a Starbucks on every corner, right? Got to get back to New York <laughs> to get a Dunkin' <laughs> or well, a Starbucks. I don't care. Maybe on that note, we should end. Absolutely. We have a... We have a a flight to catch. A flight to catch, yeah. absolutely. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. We know this was short, but we're keeping it sweet. Stay tuned and hope you join Happy us. Happy knitting. Bye.